Hello everyone, welcome to 4 Dots Designs. Today we're going to apply contact paper onto window panels to create a little more privacy. This is my bathroom and I do not like to keep the shutters closed all the time, but as you can see it's uh, totally clear so I wanted to have a little more privacy. I'm just measuring the panels before cutting the contact paper to size. You don't have to be extremely precise when you cut it because you're going to be able to trim the excess afterwards. So here I'm just uh, cutting all my pieces. I needed four total. Uh, as you can see, I'm just using a utility, utility knife. Easy for me to say. Uh, you can use an X-Acto knife, you can use scissors, whatever you have handy should work fine. Uh, I do recommend the exacto knife or utility knife for trimming the excess afterwards because it's very easy to just run it along the edge of the window. You'll see later what I mean. So um, once your pieces are cut, you're going to move to your, in my case, my bathroom to start applying those, uh, the contact paper. Uh, I chose that um, mosaic pattern sort of. You can go crazy with the patterns. There are so many options available. I will link down below um, this precise one or something similar, but mm, it depends on your taste. There's even some that are colorful. It's still see-through but colorful, so it gives you like a cathedral mm, I don't remember the word. Vitrail? Mosaic? Um, I don't know. But <laughs> cathedral glass look. Uh, stained glass. That's the, that's the thing. So there I'm just um, cleaning my windows. You have to make sure they're super clean. I use uh, rubbing alcohol. But of course you can use Windex. Uh, any glass cleaner you have. Even soap and water will work. And you want it to be clean so you don't have any dust uh, that's going to be very noticeable once you put up put the the paper on uh, i started doing just a corner right there but i realized that was not the best way to do it so i peeled off a whole strip of the paper on top and that made it way easier so i applied the two corners first line lined it up and then uh, very slowly you're going to peel the backing and then lay down your your paper, your contact paper. You have to do it slowly because that way you avoid bubbles. Even so, even still, you are going to get bubbles from time to time. Those are very easy to remove afterwards. You get a little needle, a pin. Um, I use that same knife that I was using before. Just poke a tiny hole and press the air out. It's not going to be noticeable at all once you finish with your project. So. That's basically it. That's all you do. Just be patient and do it slowly. If you rush, you're going to mess up. So that's what I was talking about earlier. You just run your knife along the edge and that'll cut the excess very easily and it looks perfect. So after that first panel is done, I just moved on to, to all the others. Um, that's my second panel right there same process just attach the top this one was a little more difficult i think i cut my my contact paper too big so it was creating wrinkles and i had to keep peeling it peeling it off the advantage of this is that you do have some leeway you can peel it back up and um and do it again of course it depends a lot on what surface you're applying it on glass a mirror it's going to be very easy to remove and and try again if you're doing it on paper because um you can use contact paper so, for so many things cover a notebook um decorate so if you're doing it on on paper it's going to be a little harder sometimes it does get stuck and will peel off the paper but the paper that you'll apply it on but as you can see i am <laughs> messing up a lot here but it's no big deal you peel it back you lay it back down make sure you avoid avoid bubbles 
and just be patient that's the main thing you have to have patience if you rush it you're going to have more problems so again just make sure it's adhered on all four sides um, at times I use the back of my knife to push it down you can use your finger a ruler works real well for that and that's it um, with my knife I was put there I was pushing the extra piece of contact paper on the in the corner and that's it that's uh, how it looks it is by no means perfect I did notice the next day with with daylight that I had a few bubbles honestly uh, they're still there I have not taken care of that it's been a few weeks and it's still there but um, like I said before it's so easy to remove Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave me a question in the comments below. Please subscribe. Um, let me know if there's other videos you want me to make. I'll be posting a lot of uh, DIYs, makeup tutorials, special effects makeup actually, not regular makeup. I don't do pretty makeup. But uh, just let